Okay, let's do the mango soda, okay? What I have here is amazing ripe mango. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh 450 grams of this amazing mango. The idea is that we're gonna extract all the beautiful flavors of it, but we still gonna keep it nice and refreshing and sexy. Perfect. Now, let's muddle it so we extract all of its juices. I don't want to use any other technique to extract any juice because I need the pulp to still be intact. Now, we're gonna add some glucoamylase. Glucoamylase, it's an enzyme that breaks down starch and turns it into fermentable sugars. So this is gonna help the process of fermentation. This product is used by brewers or by people that are gonna make uh, spirits, and we're gonna use it with really, uh, in really small quantities because it's super, super powerful. Let's add per 450 grams of um, mango, four grams of this amazing glucoamylase. And we're gonna add one more ingredient. This is called pectinex. This is pectin, okay? The enzyme that breaks down pectin. This is gonna help us our final product to be a little bit more clear, not that cloudy, to break down all the pectin that is already inside of the fruit, okay? We're gonna put, we're gonna put 46 drops of this. Now we're gonna mix it all together. You can do this process with other fruits or vegetables that have a high content of starch, like for example, bananas, okay? We're gonna mix it really, really, really well, and we're gonna ferment it. We're gonna let it ferment for 48 hours. If you have, uh, if you have any special apparatus for fermenting, that's perfect. If not, you can just put it in a jar with uh, an amazing cheesecloth on top. Let it ferment for 48 hours in a place that is not too hot, not too cold. After 48 hours, we're gonna strain this amazing liquid and we're gonna get something like this. Now, this is gonna be more of a sour uh, mango water, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna brix it. What I mean by brixing is we're gonna adjust the amount of sugar and acid that are inside of this solution. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna use tools like a refractometer. Refractometers, refractometers measure bricks. Bricks are the, the thickness of, of a liquid that is mostly, or for this case, related to the amount of sugar that's inside of it. We're gonna mix it to 10. That means that we're gonna take it to 10 bricks. This one, it's a little bit sour, so we're gonna add sugar until, like a simple syrup, until we get a measure of 10 bricks. If yours is a little bit sweeter than that, or has a bricks higher than that, you can add, add citric acid, malic, ascorbic, as you please, to bring down the sweetness to something like that. After that, super simple, we're gonna take a bottle for a, a soda maker, we're gonna pass this juice inside and we're gonna 
and we're gonna carbonate it. You can use a machine like this that is for home use or you can use other techniques for force carbonating. The important part is we are dissolving CO2 inside of a liquid. So I recommend you to put it in the fridge or in the freezer for a couple of minutes because CO2 is more soluble in colder liquids than in hotter liquids. We're gonna incorporate it. And we're gonna carbonate it again. We're gonna have, we, we want to have the tiniest of the bubbles. Now, keep this in your fridge until you're gonna use it. This is, uh, again, a technique that you can use many products to use. And I would love to see how your creativity can turn into an amazing drink. Thank you guys. Thank you, Shoshen. Thank you. Bas, bas.